Hello, I'm Floyd Bradley. We had a request from one of our YouTube and podcast viewers if I could show them how to do rocks because they said in their comment I always fluster when I get to rocks in a picture and I really don't know how to do them. Now she's not alone. So many people in our workshops and my um, lessons that I've um, when I taught people always had a problem with rocks and I know it's coming. I've never had a problem myself because no one told me they were difficult but they are. So what I thought I'd do is I'd do uh, an experiment for you. It's an exercise of just rocks and I'm sure you'll find this very interesting and uh, have a go at it yourself. It doesn't matter if you mess it up. It's not a picture as such and I'm not uh, treating it as a picture. It's just a project. Anyway, let me show you the picture I'm going to be doing and the setup that I've um, prepared in advance. Now this is the rock exercise we're going to be doing. As you can see, there's a lot of it, lots of different colours. I've already done the water. There's no point in seeing that because it's the rocks we're after. So let's see what we can do here. I've got the pencils over here. These are the pencils I think I can use. I may use more. I might have to find another two or three or I might not use them all. Um, now I'm going to use a white to start with. But let's start with something fairly easy. I say fairly easy because nothing's going to be easy with rocks. Now I'm going to put the, the white in. What we're looking for is this one here. Because that one will give me all this colour, it will give me this colour and then we'll have this colour as well. So we'll have in that one small area we'll have really the the colours that we're going to be using for the rest of it. So that's why I'm starting there. I'm using actually a buttermilk pastel paper. I haven't used this before but I think it'll be quite nice to use. I'm going to put the Put the white on. I don't need the white in the darker areas which is there but I do need it where I want to put a base colour on there. So there's that's number one. Number two, I'll keep these here for the moment but what I'm going to, I've got a couple of whites here. Um, I should make sure they're sharp in a minute. Uh, greys. I'm going to be using this grey. Uh, this is a darker grey. What we're looking for here is this. We're looking for a base colour for that and the grey is ideal as a starter. So let's put that in. Now when you're doing rocks you don't have to be, you've got a lot of artistic license that's what I'm trying to say, and you don't have to be exact which is great. Now straight away you can see we've got a rock. It's not quite as simple as that but you can see how the pastel paper and the pastel works really well to give you the impression of rocks. Now I'm coming into the water as well. We'll put a rock in the water. Now, this is not going to show up but um, very well but because uh, I've got the pastel underneath it but it would be nice just to uh, extend that right okay now I've got to use the other grey now this grey would add just a little bit of colour to the, the rock there now what I'm going to show you here is how simple this is if you stick to what I'm showing you and without um, making too much of it. I'm just going to put just a little bit down here because we've got a, a light area just there. Uh, the thing we can do is use a pastel shaper. I'm using the grey one because the grey one is just a bit harder. When I've used um, the ivory they're ideal for fur and for skin. So there, that's the first bit. That's not bad, is it? I think we've reshaped that slightly there. 
Um, let's get a, a sharper white. I've got a sharper white here. I've got several whites. I want to reshape that one slightly. I cut into the blue. It doesn't matter at all if you put some colour into the rock. Could look quite attractive, in fact. Now we don't want it to straight up on there, so let's put a little bit of design and make it make it a little bit more attractive. There you go. That'll do. Now I'm going to use the grey again here. This time with just a little bit of a, a lighter touch. Now, if you look at the picture again, you'll see that this is pink. And so let's, let's use another couple of colours. Pink would be nice. Grey and pink work really well together. What I might do here, let me see if I can show you. I'm going to come closer as well because you're, you're looking at this from a distance. If I just leave that there, now you can see what I'm doing. I'm looking at that, you're looking at the... Here, I want that to be grey here, not pink. So we just put a bit of grey in. As I said before, you've got artistic license. You can do what you want. You, you, really, folks, you could almost leave that alone now, couldn't you? Except we need that darker. So let's work something darker. I've got two dark colours here. There's one is the 181, which is a nice colour I use a lot. And this is 175. What's the difference, Cole? Well, the difference is you've got a bluey um, grey here and you've got an earth grey there. Now, if you look at the picture, kind of a cross between the two. But as I'm going to put browns on in a minute, it's probably a good idea if I don't use that one. That's the um, 181, but use the 175. And the other thing I can do here is I can cut round that rock. So let's just do that. In other words, shape that one in advance. All right. Another thing we can do here is we can make that a little stronger. Don't want to get rid of the light altogether. Let's make it just with a little bit of a tail on there. Come in. Now, water is quite hard to do. This is why I've done it in advance. But if we just do that for the moment, you see how that, again, you could almost leave that alone. In fact, if we were to just put a bit of grey on there as well, I'm going to leave it alone. Uh, mm, well, let's put a bit of black as well. Just to push home the shadow in, because the light's coming from this direction. But yes, I think we'll leave that alone. Looks good. So, the rest of this now. This is 175. Now, what I'm going to do is shape, and shape this top one roughly, roughly in the shape that we've got it up there. Right. Now the other side. Right. And let's put this bit in here, which is dark. There. With a bit of light there and a little bit of light there. So leave the little bit of light there and leave the little bit of light there. coming down quite in fact it would be nice if it links to that I think like that now, from now onwards we can just fill that in you've got to be mindful of the pastel paper is going to give you a lot of help here so just wiggle the pencil until you see some sort of formation coming in 
Now, although I'm spending time on this one little section, I won't be doing it for the rest, and I'll be showing you all of that in bits and pieces as we go along. But here it's very important to see how we go. See, now that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's just use another colour. I think um, that pink was nice, but I think we'll go just a little stronger now. This is 189 in, in favour. And again, use the pastel mat to take it off the pencil. If you haven't got pastel mat, you're using ombre, you can still effectively do the same thing. That's quite nice. It's very, very close, isn't it, to that now? But I wanted to keep this grey over here. Let's just put just a tiny bit of 175 to give just a little bit of shape to that like that and then with the white again cut round the this is quite a strong white here I've got and we can make just a little bit of design in there coming down here a little bit of shape and I think the colour shaper might help you just to blend. Now, I think um, what I'm going to do is use a, a brown. I've got a brown here. As what shall I use? I'll tell you what, I'm going to use 18283 in here, which is the ready brown, and that would look quite nice in there. design on that. There you go. Now I don't think you really need any more than that. If you wanted to elaborate we could make they put the black in just a little 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 bit more strength here and there. where the shadow would be but I think we can leave that alone so this first one now I'm going to work my way through that doing in the same way but working through that and it's going to be a lot quicker that didn't take very long did it and neither will that so I've got another one here but I'm going to come a lot closer now so that you'll be able to see this in close up you won't be able to see the picture as well you'll just see this section which you'll see and understand just what I'm getting at.
come a long way from finishing, but what I wanted to show you now is that you can pick up, back up on some of the things that we've done before. That's 177, this is 183, 283 rather. What I want to do is to put the colour on here, and I'm going to put the definition between the two, so that darkening that rock lightens that one up, see? Now what I want to do now, this is um, 177. I've got darker colours than this if I need them, but uh, for the moment let's just concentrate on this. Just a little bit of detail. I don't want to make it as dark as that. That is the darkest, in fact, what I'll do there, just to make it absolutely... Uh, I don't know if I can find it. There we are, my black. Is to make it absolutely as dark as I can get it. The black will give it that depth. Okay, now that's got that in there. While we're here, we'll just put a few cracks and crevices in there. One double seven now. And I don't think I need to do too much more in there. I could probably put just a little bit of grey in. Depends how much detail you want. In there, and we've got another area there which I'm going to come down with 177 and darken just that bit. Once again, this forward area of rock is now much more contrast between the two. Now, let's work on here. Now, this is where artistic license comes in, we can decide what to do here, what I think I'll do. I've got quite a lot of design there. Let's just work on that. Put a bit of colour in there, a bit more. Let's make that bit pink here. Don't ever be afraid of backtracking. If you find that you want to put a little bit more light in, say, in this case I wouldn't put some white in, you can. Primarily what I'm looking for here is, is to darken this back rock formation like that, which gives these other rocks a little bit more contrast and um, stand, they stand forward of that. A little bit of black in there. We'll do what it's done up there. Now you get to a point where you've got to stop. And I've got to that point there. I'm going to stop. What I'm going to do though, is show you, if I use my 181, if I can find that. Here it is, 181. I can put that in the water because I want to put just a bit of shadow in that water there. Like that. Makes it look more right more natural. Put some in there as well. So, so far that is looking quite exceptional, isn't it? Well, all of that's going to be the same. So I'm going to carry on. Um, I'm just going to show you, this is, you know, there's not a lot of brown in this rock, it's mainly grey. So I'm going to use my 175. It's best to use the browns with the browns, so in other words, 175 is a warmer colour. I've lost it at the moment. I've got it here. This is a question of locating it. Uh, here it is. Yes, uh, the sepia is a browny colour. Now that would be the better one to use here. Now, you can please yourself where you go here. There's no hard and fast rule and put a few little cracks in. There's a few more. I've already kind of established the idea. Now I'm just making just a little bit more of those cracks. Now you can then use the colour shaper, not that one, the pointed one preferably, just to make them look that little bit less obvious like that. And what would make them stand out is if you use a white. 
and emphasize the, the light. Again, not all over, just in places. And the grey. I'm flitting about a bit because that's the way you should be doing it. If you stick to one, this is the one I'm looking for. If you stick to one colour, then you'll find that um, it'll become boring. I'm looking at now, a little bit of pink in there would be quite nice. Now I think I'm going to leave that alone, that one's alone, and I'll carry on with the rest of this. All of this is going to be the same as that. Let's just show you a little bit of that. I'm using 283 again. I've already put the greys in. And now this comes into... You're probably looking at this and saying, it, it, it looks very easy, Colin. Well, I'm sorry to say it's not. As I've mentioned in the past, rocks are notoriously difficult to do. And you've got to do them the way I'm doing, just keep, keep backtracking. Put a little bit of white in there to... This is what I mean by backtracking. You see it and you think, I'll make that just a little stronger. Uh, that looks a bit false, so we will use 283 to make that a little more acceptable. And just to make another one uh, more addition, I'm going to put the brown, which is 177 in here, on top of the 283 just to make that just that richer and I did notice too on the reference let me show you the reference picture it's got a sort of ready look in there well if you see it do it and uh, the red I'm going to use there is 190 this one as you can see it looks very attractive but we haven't finished yet because there's still more to do. And a little bit of black, just to punch home the shadow. Be a good idea here, 181, to bring down the shadow in the water. In fact, you could probably put some of that red in there as a reflection. Normally I say when I'm doing any artwork, don't keep fiddling. Well, you can do it with these. It'd be nice, enough, nice to make that just a little bit lighter there, so it forms a... If you don't like it, we'll alter it. But I think I do. So there we are. So I'm going to carry on there, and um, I'll come in if I need to, because this is going to be quite a tricky area. Once again, I've started the ball rolling with the grey and I shall continue with that, picking out individual rocks. But up here, it's coming very well, but it does need some definition. So let's put some definition in. Got to find the right colour. Let's try that one. Like that. A little of pencil when you do this, you, you, that stops you from being like straight lines, because you won't get many straight lines in rocks. A little bit of that pink in there, and I'm going to make that 
283. The idea of this was to try to bring this foot forward rock. One double seven. You see that forward rock now looks looks a little bit false, so we've got to work quite hard to make that less. It looks it looks as though it's contrived. You don't want that. Well, I should work on that a little bit more, but you get the idea of all of this, so I'm going to carry on.
Well, there we are, folks. Um, I think that will do. It's quite easy to overdo something like this, and uh, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to leave it at that. But I hope it's given you enough information to do. have a crack at rocks for yourself. <laughs>